Welcome to or welcome back to everything fly fishing, whatever the case may be, where we tie flies to catch fish. Not necessarily fishermen. So, in today's video, we are going to tie another small but very deadly fly. We're going to tie a size 20 Griffiths gnat. Now, let's get to the vice to tie this very deadly, very teeny fly. We start this fly with a size 20 dry fly hook and 70 denier thread. Now we're going to tie in a grizzly hackle and it really doesn't matter how long you make it. If it's a little hair long, I mean you don't want to extravagantly go over long, but a little longer than it should be is okay because it's just a midge cluster. It's supposed to represent a midge cluster and chaos. And so to tie in that hackle fiber. I went quite a quick there, but uh, that was an eye of a peacock eye. You want to use it. Eye the peacock because it's finer for small flies like this. Don't matter in bigger flies, but for these small flies, you want to use the eye the peacock because it's finer. After tying in the peacock, you want to let your thread rest at the eye of the hook, and now we're ready to assemble the fly. Now you want to just wrap the, we're going to start to assemble and you want to wrap the peacock up to the eye of the hook, tie it off and cut off the excess. Oh, our peacock broke. Okay, so if that ever happens to you, just un, untie the peacock and tie a new piece of peacock in. Now it's finally time to finish up this fly with the grizzly. Wrap that the opposite way you tied in the peacock. So it'll make a fly, the fly stronger. And the ribbing will stick out in the uh, grizzly more. So wrap it the opposite way you wrap the peacock. Get up to the eye of it. Tie it. Secure it. With a couple, whip, well, with a couple of thread wraps. Cut off the excess. And whip finish it. Now here's a little secret I like to share with you that no many people might might do is I cut almost all the hackle off from underneath this fly because I want it to ride right in the film. I don't want it to sit up out of the water. I want it to sit kind of in the film. So that's kind of where these flies ride. So this will make sure it's down in the film with the water. So I cut the bottom hackles off. <laughs> like that fly another easy teeny deadly fly and that wraps it up for the week that's today's Friday hope you guys had a great week we made it through all these flies hope you got them tied up if not get them tied up over the weekend go back and watch all the flies for the week and get them tied up because these are the ones you want to have in your box 
These are the ones that everybody has. Most fly fishermen have in their box. If not, they should have them in their box. Because these are really deadly, nice flies for early spring. So thank you for watching. Keep watching other videos from earlier in the week. Watch the videos from old tying videos. Watch, go back and watch all our tying videos and tie flies up. Get ready. Soon fishing season. Soon here. March is right around the corner. Here we go. March Madness. Fly tying style. So, get them in your box. And I'll see you on the water.